Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Tuesday, 20th of February 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app for the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, European markets certainly are withering this morning, uh, certainly under pressure. You FTSE 100 certainly under pressure due to BHP Billiton and HSBC. European shares certainly weaker as well, or given the fact that Asian markets certainly traded lower. Uh, US markets certainly trading considerably lower, given the futures markets currently trading around the 27.15 zone on the S&P, and the Nasdaq did fall as low as 67.20. So again, certainly liquid, uh, risking uh, risk-off uh, factor so far. Uh, banks certainly being hurt, okay. Uh, so especially with HSBC saying that it needs an extra... 7 billion of fresh capital. I mean, God knows where this money is going, especially with a QE that, uh, that's been uh, certainly been uh, ongoing since the last five or ten years now. Apparently, the biggest daily share fall in a year after its trading update. The last undergoing CEO, Stuart Gulliver, has pushed through a painful restructuring of Europe's biggest bank by market value. So that certainly doesn't bode well at all. Energy stocks certainly under pressure as well, given the fact that oil prices are certainly weaker. Okay, so that certainly is the status quo in terms of economic numbers this morning. We've had um, uh, German uh, PPI data certainly coming in stronger than expected, which in turn supports a stronger euro. CHF imports, exports certainly coming in more or less uh, uh, in line, although the trade balance data certainly did come in negative. German ZEW data came in stronger on the economic sentiment, but the current situation is slightly weaker, so certainly a mixed number there. ZEW data for Europe certainly came in stronger as well so again certainly bullish from that perspective cbi data for uk more or less in line i think the biggest story for the uk at the moment is hsbc and um, and um, hsbc and bhp bulletin earnings certainly weaker than expected or expectations certainly weaker and uh, also given the fact that uh, situation regarding the story regarding brexit apparently uh, uk is getting a special treatment scenario okay so again that certainly that story should have been bullish uh, for the market overall. Either way, that's the status quo. In terms of uh, uh, technicals now, let's go on technicals, give you an insight here, uh, intraday. German DAX still remains weak given the political uncertainty on, obviously ongoing with regards to Merkel and her coalition. Certainly isn't being uh, embraced uh, very healthily at present. Although having said that, we did have the uh, the uh, German uh, bank, certainly in central bank indicating that we are looking for stronger growth going down the road. Uh, let's just quickly go to the uh, tweet there that I tweeted later on. Earlier on, should I say? Okay, I don't think I've got that at present. Yeah, German Economic Ministry, EU to respond properly if US import. Teddy Dumby numbers certainly coming in stronger than expected. I can't find that for now. I'll get back to that later on. Okay, so again, stronger growth overall from Germany got being forecast. But again, market certainly uh, weak on the back of uh, weakness in the, the NASDAQ. Now we do have uh, support here on the 60 minute chart around 12.350 zone, uh, still making higher highs and higher lows though, so bear that in mind, the concept of lower lows, lower highs has finished, and one would expect a gap above at 12.590, uh, 12.600, and then uh, you know, ultimately 12.780, and then ultimately 12.13,000 certainly to be close on the upside, so I'll remain bullish for now, okay, still looking for higher highs and higher lows to presume uh, from my perspective, okay, unless we get an overtly bearish uh, obviously a scenario or narrative. At the moment, we've all closed the gap below at 12.350. We've bounced subsequently. Okay, so again, let's see if we can move and push higher again and break higher for those gaps. 12.590 gap again, keep an eye on that 12.590 gap. In terms of the um, French CAC now, daily chart, still certainly bearish and golfing candle yesterday, certainly consolidating within that thus far. 60 minute chart again, attempting to. We've closed the gap here at uh, 5.280, looking for the next gap. To close at 5360 and then eventually looking at 5450. So watch out for those levels above. In terms of the FTSE 100, certainly uh, pulverized today, especially after rejecting that previous resistance equal support 7300. Certainly pulverized at the back of HSBC and obviously uh, BHP Billiton. Okay, now in terms of the next move, I mean we did have this diagonal trend line that's been broken now. Okay, so again that, that trend line no longer holds sway. Uh, we have support down at 7210, so watch out there. Pivot low has been 7201. Certainly looking for a potential bounce there. Let's see if we can continue to move higher. Given the fundamental back backdrop for the FTSE, it certainly is going to be hard, for bear that in mind. 10-minute chart on the FTSE 100 at the moment. We've bounced quite impressively from the 7202. 
Uh, from my perspective, if, as soon as we get back to 7.220 now, potentially 7.210, I'll be a buyer of the FTSE looking for a potential move higher, so bear that in mind, okay? The uh, special treatment news with regards to the UK certainly does bode well uh, and certainly will help uh, relations between the two uh, potential uh, trading zones, okay, going forward. In terms of Euro stocks, let's go to Euro stocks. This is a trade that I'm currently long, looking for gap fill to close around this uh, 3480 zone, looking for that gap to close. 60 minute chart, we haven't closed that gap below, which is a good sign, okay. Looking to break out here, like I said, potentially test that pivot higher, 3435, and then eventually gap fill at 3455. So higher highs and higher lows remain uh, intact. In terms of the 10 minute chart, again, like I said, we're looking at testing resistance at 3420. 3430 then eventually 3435 okay watch out for those zones above okay i think that's a good market wrap up, wrap up for the day uh be sure to visit trade signaler download the latest uh, app and also be visit be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now